Why is proper tube handling during fence line monitoring so critical? If the sampling tube is mishandled, the entire two-week sample can be lost, which not only means no data, but also wasted time and money. The most important part of deployment is the passive sampling cap installation on the sampling end of the tube. So let's get to know the tube inside and out. Inside the tube, there's a 15 millimeter air gap, wire mesh, sorbent, more wire mesh, and a G-clip to hold the sorbent in place. The 15 millimeter air gap is at the sampling end of the tube and is crucial because all calculations are based off this number. On the outside of the tube, there's an arrow which indicates airflow and points away from the sampling end. So the passive sampling cap is always installed on the end opposite of the direction the arrow is pointing. Make sure the passive sampling cap is one, placed on the correct end of the tube, and two, pushed down completely so the 15 millimeter air gap isn't increased. When the tubes are harvested after the two week sample period, the compression caps must be properly installed to seal the tube and stop the sampling process. If the cap is too loose, the tube will continue to sample, and if it's too tight, the ferrule deforms, which can also lead to additional sampling. To ensure a proper compression cap seal, slide the nut and ferrule partially down the tube, place the top of the compression cap onto the tube, pull the nut and ferrule up, and screw the two pieces together. Hand tighten the compression cap and then use wrenches to tighten another quarter turn. Remember, not too loose and not too tight. By following these simple yet critical tips, you'll ensure your sample is safe and producing the most accurate results possible. Contact us for more information. We look forward to hearing from you.